Thank you. The forecast, more the same. Yeah, Sean, but some slight chances of rain in the future. I'm glad you said slight because that, uh, that applies so well to anything we get around here. You know, it's interesting. Last night we had so slight chances for showers. We got a few isolated showers, but, you know, for most folks, nothing at all. And for those that got it, there were reports of half an inch or better rainfall. So uh, I'd like to see a little more of it. We do have a chance for it. We're just waiting to see how the atmosphere is going to work for us or against us this coming weekend and early next week. Let's go outside see what's happening. First of all, Marble Falls. One of our highlighted live weather cams this noontime hour at 1249. Beautiful sky out there. Just a few clouds, beautiful marble falls. It's nice out in the hill country. The recent reports saying that you live a little longer out there. Well, the story is at our website at kxn.com. At the moment, we have 92 degrees. We have a light breeze. The breeze does pick up a little bit, but it's not as breezy as it was. Remember a few weeks we had the winds just 10, 15, 20, 25 mile per hour winds almost steady into the afternoon hours. Not so right now. Things are a little more calm. Humidity at 47%. You can almost see that in the mornings when the sun comes up. A lot of moisture in the air, kind of hazy, kind of a gray sky. Dew point 69, pressure 29.91 and falling. Okay, so you know it's hot out there. How hot? Who's the hottest? 97 in Lino has got to be it for right now. Coolest, 88 in Lockhart. You see 92 here in Austin, but these numbers for the most part were recorded right before 12 o'clock, usually about 11.58 or so. We'll get an update on numbers, and that's what we have right now. And this is likely going to update here in about eight minutes again, so we will likely see temperatures. I'm willing to bet 96 or 97, hopefully not anything higher than that. But if that's the case, then obviously we're going to go for 102 for this afternoon. It'll be an easy bet for that. Still going to go hold for a 100-degree temperature tomorrow and then into the weekend, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Maybe not as extreme. 100 in Oklahoma City right now. Compare that to 90 in El Paso, 97 in Laredo. 89 in Brownsville, 90 down in Corpus Christi. A lot of folks this time of the year heading down to the beach. You've got a few coastal showers to watch out for. Could be a little lightning there. And you can see that uh, we have 92 here, 88 in San Antonio, and 80, 89 in Houston. Of course, then again, if you've been to Houston or, or Louisiana, any of these uh, areas along the coast, a lot of moisture comes in. It can also be a hot, humid situation. Speaking of the coast, here's what we've been watching. Jim's been talking about this swirl in the atmosphere, and here's where the energy gets together. Right here on the right side of it, you've got a 10% chance for development, but the bad news is for the folks in Florida. It's great on the rain, but right here at Cape Canaveral, they're trying to launch the last shuttle on the last shuttle mission, and it's likely to be canceled tomorrow and delayed to another time. 70% or better rain chance there. And of course, within that rain, they get a lot of lightning in Florida. That'd be a big deal there. Tropical wave coming in from the east could move in and help bring some of this moisture our way early next week. It's early on the science. Forecast models are starting to catch up with this, and we're seeing a little bit uh, better agreement, if you will, but it's not all the way to Texas yet, so we have to wait and see. Got a few showers. I mentioned that on the coast. If you see those, watch out. Could be a little lightning in it. Otherwise, maybe a scattered shower possible into the afternoon hours. Here's noon today, into the afternoon. Yeah, you got a green dot right there. It doesn't indicate exactly where. It just it indicates that there's atmospheric uh, changes. There are things in the atmosphere that will allow us to have a few showers pop up, but not really exactly where. Overnight dies down again. Tomorrow, as we get into the afternoon hours, not so good for rain. But then on Saturday, a little bit of cloud cover coming in. Maybe a little change in the atmosphere early then, early on Saturday as well. 102 for the high today. Winds out of the south at 5 to 10. Tonight, you're going to have temperatures back in the mid-70s and winds that are still out of the south at 5 to 10. Seven-day forecast, 102 today, 102 tomorrow, and there on Saturday. Now, we have a little bit of cloud cover there, maybe a few showers coming in Saturday afternoon. A little bit better chance, but these are really markers. We have indications for showers possible then, and if that little tropical wave does fire up a little bit better, those numbers will